I'm glad for this opportunity to share a farewell with you as I look to taking up responsibilities at the Columbia Union Conference. I just want to share what a joy it has been to serve here in leadership in the Chesapeake Conference. Uh, by the time I finish up at the end of December, it will be nine years, four months, and two days that you have entrusted me with leadership here. And I still walk into this office with a sense of wonderment at the call of God in my life and the privilege of having served here in the Chesapeake Conference. It has been a wonderful source of joy to worship with you week by week in the various churches. I've had opportunity to be in all of our companies and churches throughout the Chesapeake Conference. And whether we're worshiping together, enjoying uh, worship music, the preaching of the word, uh, working together in pastoral transitions and, and the placement of new pastors, or um, perhaps it's a mortgage burning service or a special holiday service that brings us together. It has been a great opportunity just to fellowship together and join together in the ministry that God has called us to. And I think too of the various years at camp meeting where we've come together to learn and to, to grow spiritually. There have been uh, prayer conferences and training events where we've come together in order to pray and learn and prepare for greater ministry for the Lord. There are all the outreach and evangelistic activities that have taken place. Uh, many here where we've had coordinated outreach events in our community. Uh, there are times where we've gone overseas and I've enjoyed being with students on uh, overseas mission projects, constructing new churches or with pastors, uh, doing evangelistic meetings in various countries around the world. But it has been wonderful to experience the partnership in ministry that Chesapeake Conference has provided. There are times that I'll treasure when I've been able to go to our schools and provide worships for the students. Or of course, there have been many board meetings as well. And I appreciate many of you who volunteer your time and your expertise to serve on various conference level committees and boards in order to help provide the necessary oversight for the ministry that God has called us to. And there remains a great mission to be done. Despite the 3,904 recorded baptisms and professions of faith that have taken place over this period of time, there remain millions who need to hear the everlasting gospel in the context of the three angels' messages. And Jesus' parting words before he ascended to heaven continue to ring true. He says in Matthew 28, Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And that commission is still very much alive and active today. And he ends this great commission with these words of promise. He says, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. We can claim that promise today that whatever the future holds, Jesus will be with us and see us through to the end. So I look forward to continuing to hear good reports of the ministry going forward here in Chesapeake. I look forward to continued opportunities to worship with you and partner with you from the perspective of the Columbia Union. And I solicit your prayers as well. Many of you through the years have encouraged me with your prayers and, and I ask that that would continue and I will continue to uplift Chesapeake and all of our churches and schools in prayer. And I look forward to a great reunion before Jesus' throne after he has come. May we each one be faithful until that day. God bless you.